If the person you're selling agrees to buy, will his or her life improve? When your interaction is over, will the world be a better place than when you began? If the answer to either of these questions is no, you're doing something wrong. The Seller's to Human, page 232. In the end of the book, Dan Pink puts his money where his mouth is. If you like it or not, selling is a very human experience. The people who like this have a distinct advantage over the inhumane practices we've come to associate with the word salesman. Research says that the word associated with salesmen are slimy, sleazy, dishonest. In other time, olden time, the salesmen have all the information and you were at their mercy. Now thanks to the internet, we are all salesmen. Look back what you have done this past week. All the phone calls, all the meetings, all the assignments finished, and the organization of all the future ones. Business is about moving each piece just right and making a plan. And so is your personal life. The U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics lurks a surprising and surprisingly significant piece of data. One out of every nine American workers works in sales. Each day, more than 15 million people earn their keep by trying to convince someone else to make a purchase. Currently, people are now spending about 40% of their time at work engaged in non-sales selling, persuading, influencing, and convin convincing others in ways they don't involve anyone making a purchase. Across a range of professions, we are devoting roughly 24 minutes of every hour to moving others. People consider this aspect of their work crucial to their professional success, even in excess of con con considerable amount of time they devote to it. In the book, To Sell as Human by Daniel Pink, the key values to take away are atonement, buoyancy, clarity, pitch, improvise, and serve. To mention a couple, buoyancy is the quality to combine greediness of spirit and sunniness of outlook. To be buoyant means to plot, comp apply three components, before, during, and after, any effect to move others. Clarity is the capacity to move, to make sense of murky situations. To, to create clarity, you first need to find the right problem to solve, then find the right frame for the problem. Every problem needs a contrast, so ask yourself the question, compare to what? Finally, you need to find an off-ramp, which Pink defines as providing a clear directive for people to act. Daniel Pink is trying to enlighten the reader how to improve his or her salesmanship by breaking it down into key factors. He understands that we are all salesmen. He wants us to be informed about what it's like to be a salesman and they are just people just like you and I. This book will help you inside the workforce and outside the workforce, if it's a negotiation with your boss or, with your so or against a car salesman. Thank you for this video.